Good morning, saints. Please stand for prayer. Today is the feast of St. Matthew. St. Matthew, priests pray for all of us, and especially those celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to Alexander Ridge. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, you called St. Matthew from his life collecting taxes to instead focus on bringing souls to life in you. Help us to use our natural gifts for your greater glory. Heavenly Father, we praise you and give you thanks for the blessings you have bestowed upon us. Keep us accordant with truth and active in charity, as exemplified by our patron, St. Thomas Aquinas. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me as we honor our flag and country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, saints. Good afternoon, Saints. Welcome back to the Halo Midday Show. Today is Monday, September 21st. Juniors and seniors, the following colleges will be visiting STA this week. Lindenwood University, Loyola University, New Orleans, Emory University, Trinity University, Wichita State University, and Catholic University of America. Log into your Naviance What's New section to view dates and times for visits. All visits have an virtual options so you can meet with reps on your remote days or when you are at school. Let's go to Ian with sports. Hello everyone and welcome to Halo Sports. First let's talk about football. Last Friday the Saints started the game with a four yard rushing touchdown by running back Tank Young. In the second quarter Tank ran nine yards to get another Saints touchdown. Later Young got a five yard touchdown and a two point conversion which tied the game at the half 21-21. Tank Young scored yet another touchdown in the third quarter, putting the Saints up by seven. In the fourth quarter, the Stags tied the game 28-28. However, the Saints weren't done yet. Saints quarterback Blake Anderson, having a QB sneak, dive into the end zone for a touchdown. Sophomore Sean Carroll pushed through the Stags' defense for a three-yard touchdown. With these back-and-forth touchdowns from both teams, Aquinas got their second home win with a score of 41-35. Tank Young had another outstanding performance with 238 rushing yards and four touchdowns. Defense also did an amazing job, giving pressure to the Stags' offense. Caden Reeves, Cameron Penny, Jalen Marshall, and Sal Siavi all had two sacks each, totaling eight defensive sacks. Aquinas is now 2-0 and play, will play their first game against Raytown Blue Jays this Friday. Up next, we have volleyball. On Tuesday, the Saints beat the Blue Valley Tigers and the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies in two shutouts. 28 kills amounted from both games. On Thursday, your varsity girls continued the domination winning two sets by six and one set by 12 against the Blue Valley North. Another 41 kills came out of that game as well. Up next, your Saints varsity volleyball plays Blue Valley Southwest on Tuesday at 5. The cross country team had a great day at the Baldwin Invitational meet Saturday. Tommy Hazen, Logan Seeger, and Ashton Higgerson placed first, second, and fourth to lead the varsity boys to a win over 6A schools, Free State, Mill Valley, Blue Valley North, Washburn Rural, Lawrence, Topeka, and other programs. Ellie Ward and freshman Morgan Chapu led the varsity girls by placing 11th and 13th. Five JV girls placed in the top eight, led by sophomore Mary Whiteside and freshman Addie Higgerson and eight Alex Ward. As the Saints dominated the field, the JV boys tied for first place but lost the tiebreaker. Jackson Wright and freshman Noah Stanton placed third and fourth to lead the JV. The C team girls were four seconds away from a tie for first place led by juniors Sarah Anlicker and Lindsay Holzmeister. The C-team boys also play second, led by soft, sophomore Carter Unetti and freshman Matt Tyson and Aiden Brooks. And finally, boys soccer moved to 5-1 and one in the season with a 3-0 Carter Diggs, Andrew Seeger shutout. Nick Garcia, DJ White, and Drew Welch scored the goals for the Saints. That's all we have today on Halo Sports. We'll see you next time with more news about your Saints sporting events. Thanks, Ian. Freshman, please check your email for a note from your counselors. Thank you for your responses. All students that did not have their picture taken on orientation day, please go to the picture makeup day on Thursday, September 24th or Friday, September 25th at 7.30 in the Commons by the ticket office. Hey Saints, come to our opening movie night for Teens for Life Friday at 6.30. Make sure to bring $5 to join the club and a chair and a mask. 
There will be a raffle for gift cards, popcorn, and snacks, and the movie is Gimme Shelter, starring Vanessa Hudgens. Come on out to support pro-life and check for the flyers in your religion classrooms and post it around the school. Today's saint of the day is St. Matthew. St. Matthew the Apostle was a tax collector, the most despised of profession. He was called by Jesus to show that through a relationship with him, even those that others would say were the worst among us, whom others would abandon, can be saved. Now it's time for the fun fact of the day. Did you know that the heaviest pumpkin ever weighed more than a ton? Wow, I did not know that. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's Midday Show. We'll be back tomorrow with more announcements. I'm Emma. I'm Rebecca. Don't, Don't forget, we'll, we'll find, find a way, way to make today great.